Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss that how we can find out the values with using gamma function and beta functions if the value or the function which is given to us is trigonometric in nature. That means sine and cos values specifically and particularly we are talking about. So let's see with the help of a question and the most important thing about it is that you can be asked in the question is what is the value of gamma 1 by 2 and the value of gamma 1 by 2 is root pi so let's see how we can find out see the value of beta mm we have already studied about the value which ranges from 0 to infinity and uh, 0 to 1 right now there is a form which is 2 or twice of 0 to infinity sine 2m minus 1 theta cos raised to power 2m 2m minus 1 theta d theta this is the form which we can use in terms of sine and cos but how we can derive it from the previous the main part uh, which we have already studied that beta m and n is 0 uh, limit 0 to 1 integration of x raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 minus x n minus 1 dx right this is the value of beta mn we want to find out or derivate this into this form okay okay so what we can do if you see here 0 to 1 is given to you if let's say we substitute because we have to bring sine and cos into this so let's assume that x is our sine square theta okay that means dx would be c let's say this is t square so what will be the differentiation of t square 2t and now we are applying chain rule this is t so again the differentiation of this bit which is cos theta d theta right so this is your x and now because you are substituting something so you have to change the limit as well when you had dx your limit was 0 to 1 but when you are having limit in the form of d theta, then when your x is 0, you know very well that sine 0 is 0. So theta will be 0 only. And when your x is 1, then also you know that sine 90 is 1. So theta will be 90, right? So this will be converted into 0 to 90. And x, we have already assumed that x is sine square theta raised by n minus 1. 1 minus x, which is sine square theta raised by n minus 1. Then we have got dx, which is 2. We can bring 2 out. Then sine theta cos theta d theta, right, from here. Now, if you simplify it, you can see. 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to power if you multiply 2 with this 2m minus 2 theta then 1 minus sine square theta we know this is the formula for cos square theta and here we got sine theta cos theta d theta right then this is sine raised to power 2m minus 2 theta cos raised to power then again multiply with 2 throughout 2m minus 2 theta then sine theta cos theta we know in multiplication power powers are added so this is sine this is sine this is the power one so 2m minus 2 plus 1 what we'll get is something which we have to prove right 2m minus 1 then again 2m minus 2 and 1 when we add them up this will be in this form right and of course because all these terms are equal to beta mn, so this is beta mn. Sometimes question may ask you to prove that this is half. So 2 will come here and this will become half. That doesn't make any difference. Now, but the question is, you have to prove that gamma 1 by 2 is root pi. So now we have to bring gamma 1 by 2 somewhat here. Okay. So we can think of this thing that the relation between beta and gamma we already know right 
but before that let's assume this in the simplified form this as a this as b so let 2n minus 1 as a and 2n minus 1 as b so here the value of m will be a plus 1 by 2 and here the value of n will be b plus 1 by 2 right so that means beta m n half of beta m m is a plus 1 by 2 and n b plus 1 by 2 equals 0 to pi by 2 sine this we have already assumed that this is a this is b d theta right this is the final value now this is equals to what this thing half beta a plus 1 beta uh, uh, half beta a plus 1 by 2 and b plus 1 by 2 right but we want to have gamma 1 by 2 so let's bring gamma into this you know very well that beta m n is equals to gamma n gamma n divided by gamma n plus n right so that means this will become half is constant gamma a plus 1 by 2 gamma b plus 1 by 2 divide by gamma a plus 1 plus b plus 1 by 2 lcm is 2 right so and on the right hand side there will be no effect it will be same right now let's assume a and b as 0 degree so half this is 0 so gamma half this will also be gamma half and here this is 0 this is 0 1 and 1 is 2 2 by 2 is 1 and we know gamma 1 is 1 factorial and that is 1 and here sine 0 will be sine raised power 0 will be 1 cos raised power 0 will be 1 and only d theta will be left right and this we know that integration of dx is x integration of d theta is theta limit 0 to pi by 2 right okay so this is uh, where I need to solve let's say here this is 1 by gamma 1 by 2 whole square and this is 1 by 2 pi we can take it as 2 pi on right hand side and here if you see upper limit minus lower limit you have to put so pi by 2 minus 0 will be pi by 2 so this is pi square right uh, here uh, this this is not pi this is 1 right so there is no pi actually now what is left gamma 1 by 2 this square will be on the right hand side as root so root pi are you getting my point this is how we can prove and solve our questions so if you see let's say uh, we have to prove let's say we have to prove any question based on it okay so how we can prove it uh, let me show you just a sec let's say we have to prove There is a question that you have to find out the value of 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to power 5 theta d theta. Okay. Now, you can use this formula for beta mn. Right. How you can solve it. But for this, you need sine and cos both. But you can write it obviously 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to power 5 theta d theta and cos is for 0 theta d theta okay right so your 2 m minus 1 is what 5 and your 2 n minus 1 is 0 cos is for 0 if you compare both of the things so m will be 5 plus 1 6 by 2 that means 3 and your n will be 1 by 2 right your m and n you have got so this value will be half of beta m n that means half of beta 3 comma 1 by 2 
right and you already know that oh, how we can calculate this form 3 comma 1 by 2 you know that beta mn is this right so that means gamma 3 gamma 1 by 2 divided by gamma gamma 3 plus 1 by 2 right m plus n so 3 plus 1 by 2 will be 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 by 2 right so you know the value of gamma 3 this is 2 factorial so 2 into 1 that means 2 gamma pi you already uh, gamma half is root pi we just solved it and in denominator you can check out those videos which I've made that how we can find out the value when it is fraction form so you have to subtract 1 so if you subtract 1 from 7 by 2 it will be 5 by 2 then again subtract 1 by 2 from 5 by 2 it will be 3 by 2 then again subtract 1 from 3 by 2 that is 1 by 2 then you can't subtract anymore so just gamma of that last value so this is 5 3 is a 15 by 8 2 will be cancelled with 2 15 by 8 and here we know the value of gamma pi is root pi root pi will be cancelled with root pi and this will go up so 8 by 15 this is the answer so in this way you can solve the questions and i hope you um, understood it this concept how you can use trigonometric uh, i mean beta and gamma functions formula in trigonometric form and how you can find out uh, any value um, using beta functions and gamma functions and their relationship so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye